Hey, what's up, guys? Glad you're joining me. Uh, this is the second part, uh, and it goes over crate digging, uh, sampling, and pitching. So basically, they call it crate digging because uh, you had to dig in giant crates of uh, old records that nobody wanted anymore. Uh, and these were uh, obscure kind of disco ones, and uh, they would sample them and uh, create awesome house out of it. Um, and we're going to be kind of doing that now, uh, and I should kind of explain what to look for. In our style, um, in our, well, for the sake of, well, the scope of this uh, course, I would say we're looking for uh, micro samples, which are like between, you know, uh, half a bar to a bar. I usually like half a bar because you can find little areas of songs that'll sound really funky. Uh, and... I will drag this one in and we I'll uh I'll I'll go through a bunch of tracks and try to find hopefully not disastrously I'll try to find little snippets uh that we will uh go through and sample. <laughs> So we have this little part right here, I hope. So we're going to want to take that, select the start point. About there, right? Uh, and then we'll loop a half bar here, so right? That's a half bar. Right? Uh, and Ableton warping is quite intuitive actually so you do kind of do that right and what you can do is you can take a little snippet like this and drag it to the end so you have basically two samples right and but uh, when you take a, a low BPM uh, kind of thing, we'll, we'll, st we'll stretch this down to 25 BPM or 24, why not? 24 BPM. So if you have a, a piece of audio like this that's uh, originally 109, uh, you get some weird artifacts. And they didn't have complex transposing back then, so things are repitched, right? <laughs> Right, so we will leave that, and hopefully we s we find success with that particular sample. Uh, we will try another one. Let's see, Donna Summer. Nope. You can kind of tell. Wait, 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 BGS. Let's uh let's hurry up here. Nope. Okay. So disco it has a lot of these little subtle fills uh that are very fun to sample. So we'll try to find one here. So we have something right here. Right. Make sure that there there's a like a bass guitar in there. Right. So we'll have this right here. We'll have that. We can also move this over. Whoa! What's going on there? Yeah, I think we'll just stick to this one. Maybe we can always take. Alright, we'll 
pick that. Bam. So this is this is the the process of digging crates. Usually it's it was done meticulously going through a record. That one's a keeper. So you hear what you kind of, because it's all short loops repeated, right? We have this little part right here. So we'll chop that up. Oh, we'll, we'll refine it. that and I like I like it when it's a little bit off uh, so that is our basic basic sampling uh, we have three potentials So and that is uh, sampling, digging, and pitching, but not that order. Uh, uh, generally, you can take bits of any track, um, and uh, it's it's quite it's quite uh, intuitive and fun once you get the hang of it. You just have to know what to listen to in a track. You'll get to the the points where you'll you'll listen to something, and you say, "Oh, that split second that that'll sound cool." kind of looping and disco-y and I've rambled on enough and we're going to be moving on so stay tuned we're going to do some fun stuff all right take care